Jeremy from Rock on Wheels. Uh, today with the Royal Enfield Himalayan. So this is a cool motorcycle. So if you're gonna put it out there uh, and you wanna drive a dual sport bike that does have actual capabilities, but style, this is pretty much the only bike that really does that uh, with an old school flair. Uh, so Royal Enfield is a brand that came back to Canada in 2009. We've been a dealer and we've had some pretty cool bikes but they were all pretty much the same, like the Classic 500, the Electra 500, and the Continental GT all shared the same power plant. Uh, in recent years, Royal Enfield has made huge leaps and bounds in expanding that line, modernizing all the way they build bikes, and this is one of the products from it. So this is a 411cc single piston engine. Uh, so it's a big thumper with a six-speed transmission, and it was made off of the need of where these bikes are built. So the Himalayas are in India, and this bike is built in India. Uh, what guys used to do is they used to take the classics and they used to put big knobby tires on it and, and big bars and all that stuff, and they would actually ride them off-road over there. This answers a lot of questions because they've never had a bike with this much suspension. Uh, so finally, Royal Enfield came out with a bike to answer uh, the dual sport um, uh, market but maintain their unique styling. So the biggest improvement on this bike and what makes it a real dual sport uh, is the long travel suspension. With that, they were able to get a lot of ride comfort out of the bike and it's able to absorb the bumps and everything. This kind of classifies uh, a little bit heavy in terms of a dual sport, but a little bit light if you were to compare it to a KLR 650 or a CR 650 or even a DR 650 from Suzuki. Uh, but it's built along those lines. So it's a bike that you can ride all day long. And with those characteristics, it even makes a really nice bike for commuting because you have that nice upright neutral position with that long travel suspension. So as an option, but becoming more standard is the ABS. So Royal Enfield has fitted this bike with a front and rear uh, disc brake ABS system, which is absolutely fantastic. So they're definitely stepping up their game and putting quality product on the table. So really talking about something cool is this gauge package. So they really made something that kind of looks like a watch uh, and it's got some nice features to it. So we have our tachometer, we have our RPMs and our trip computer, everything, uh, traditional fuel gauge, and we even have a compass. So, you know, putting a little bit of that, that whimsical feel to the bike and just putting in the adventure to it for real. So this seat is definitely something that Royal Enfield nailed. It's by far the most comfortable seat that they make, making you could drive this bike all day long and it's not a problem. It's fitted with a rear rack. These side rack too even have some cool options that are gonna be coming out like jerry can holders and everything. Uh, and on the back, we could get uh, traditional aluminum panniers that aren't breaking the bank. The, that is probably the biggest trick up this bike sleeve is the cost. It's $63.99 fitted with ABS for the Canadian market. That's making this bike stand completely on its own. And at even with twice the amount of dollars, you usually don't get this much style. This is a statement bike. That's actually more spirited than what I expected. And again, with Royal Enfield's work that they've done lately, that transmission, the shifting is just smooth and on point. And the bike feels solid on the road. And that's the thumper. This is a single piston engine. And uh, at highway speeds like this, I, d I would expect more vibration. But there's nothing. There's nothing in the handlebars. Nothing really in the seat that's too much mention about. So, now let's not forget, like this has the style point. This bike is definitely breaking necks. People are, love seeing this cool stuff on the road. If you're looking for a bike that makes a statement, doesn't break the bank, but is a ton of fun to ride, the Royal Enfield Himalayan is definitely should be on your radar.